Oh, hello. Uh, welcome, welcome to A Hit Gaming. It's a show in Seattle about weed and video games and art. Oh, that's the best part of it, I think. Hey, everybody! Welcome to the fourth or fifth episode. I'm not a counting person. This is our special guest of the week, the amazing and funny DJ Martinez. Hi, hi, DJ. hi thanks for having me. Um, DJ, thank you very much for being on the show. We wanted to get you on right away because there aren't a ton of queer Latinx comedians in the Northwest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I wanted to get you on right away. Um, and yeah, actually, yeah, we do have to stick together. There's very few of us. And I've actually like prepared a bunch of Latinx specific game oh, trivia okay. for later. Okay. So hopefully, like it's, <laughs> it's pretty nerdy stuff. So it's fine if you don't know it. Okay. It's not like an indictment of your knowledge of Latin American culture okay. if you don't know. <laughs> DJ is an awesome comedian and storyteller. Uh, DJ was at Bumbershoot this last year, were I you was, not? Yeah, with Queers, we're hilarious. Right, which is also Monisa Brown mm-hmm. and Finn Cottom, mm-hmm. um, who I'm sure we'll be seeing on this show soon. Um, tell me a little bit about that experience. Yeah, it's been really fun. Um, I love working with Finn and Monisa, who are two other great queer um, artists in Seattle. I think I just burned some of my hair. It's really long right now. <laughs> Don't cut it. I won't, I won't. I'll just burn it slowly. Okay, That's yeah. how I'll maintain the length. <laughs> hair is where your power comes from. Do you so think that? Forget. Yes, I do. Your hair is gorgeous, by the way. What do you do to make it so nice? coconut oil mm-hmm. and I like you know I don't I don't hate on it you know you don't wash I, it too much right no definitely not that's not good for us it's not um you know I think positive thoughts about it <laughs> right I used to not like my hair and I used to have it really short and I used to hate it I really like it thank you do you like sing to it you know how people sing to plants <laughs> <laughs> no not yet but I do like that idea uh, the bus driver on the way over here um, complimented me on my hair too Ooh, cool mm-hmm. you got a little fan club going mm-hmm um, so queers were hilarious. Mm-hmm. I think it's implied in the name, but it's like a queer comedy troupe. Yeah. Um, what's it like uh, doing different shows around town as like a queer performer, knowing that you're actually going to get to do it for a queer specific audience? Because that doesn't happen a lot for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's super uh, a relief. You know, it's yeah. like um, you know we know that our comedy style is it. Everything's fine. Just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know that you know we don't people want to hear what we have to say, you know, in terms of comedy. And, and that's why we're doing it, because we want to make people laugh. Like, that's why I think most of us do this. Well, and it's great when you don't feel like you have to, like, get someone to where you're at to make the joke work. Yeah, you already compromise. know. Like, right, yeah. yeah. You can really commit to whatever version of that story or joke you want to do. Mm-hmm. This joint is not treating us well. Do you want to hit this bong? Or sure. Something? It's, um, this bong's a little intimidating. I mean, don't hurt yourself with it. <laughs> a lot of people think they need to like show off to me take and take the whole bowl. Mm-hmm. But you can just do a little. Work the edge. <laughs> That's a pretty mighty one. You know, it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Today we are going to be playing a little bit of Mario Tennis. Uh, We are both not very good at this game, (laughs) so I apologize. It's actually my boyfriend's game. He gave DJ uh, a crash course before we started filming, so theoretically DJ will be much better at this game than me. We'll find out. I mean, no promises. No promises. I mean, you know, I'm not very competitive. I wonder if there's doubles. Let's see. Let's do one round against each other, and we'll see if we can do some doubles. Okay. Which of the Mario characters do you relate to the most? Um... Gosh, I want to say Toad. Toad, right. But, I mean, I feel like... Is that a height thing? I don't want to push that on you, but is that um, a It sounds thing? like you're pushing it <laughs> a pretty <little> bit, hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, it, is a, it is a height thing. I mean, he's also really cute. He's I really like cute his like outfit. You. I love shrooms. Yes. You know, as much as I'm a Toad, um, he's, his playing style just does not work for me in this game. I also feel like he's not a, the greatest character to play in... Um, Okay. Yeah, he's a little... Well, he's a lightweight, so he's got a quick acceleration, but where's your top speed, Toad? Exactly. Oh, see, we can do doubles, see? All right, let's do it. But let's do singles first. Okay. We'll go back in. Okay. I've got to really figure out how tennis works, because I can't say that I've ever played. <laughs> in real life or in... Like, in real life? My mom really wanted us to play tennis together, because there was a tennis court in the park. Mm-hmm. We, like, re- lived really close to a park. There's a tennis court in there, and my mom would try and make me go. 
and play tennis with her. And play tennis with her. So she had someone to play with, and it should have been a good son and just like gone and hit the balls. But like, it's not, I have to run so much. It's hard. <laughs> have you ever played like tennis in real life? Not like competitively. Just like you know, get high, and mm-hmm. go to the court. <laughs> I like Daisy. She has a pretty dress. Holy moly! I'm whoa! I'm wow, apparently like really good at this. Fucking on fire! I didn't. I I pushed the button okay, three okay, times. I, I don't know is. what's happening. I see how it is. Okay, it's fine. Uh, everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! You thought I was gonna let it go, didn't you? I did. I was like, I'm not I'm gonna. Back in it. I'm not gonna coddle you. That's one thing I want. Well, I'm not gonna coddle you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is getting so hostile so quickly. <laughs> this is supposed to be about unity. <laughs> what if we just, like, stop becoming friends after this? This could be the end of our friendship, yeah. Um, you that would win, suck, you because we work together a lot. <laughs> yeah. How come you haven't served yet? I really don't because, get how Because, uh, works. this is, like, I don't know, a set or something. Okay. How does the score work? Is 30 a lot? Because it goes up by seemingly random <laughs> intervals. Uh, I think it goes up by 10. But then it's gonna go to 45, right? Uh, I think just 40. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, no, it I is like 40. This game now. It is like 30. Well, no, it goes. See, it's 50? 15. Yeah. Why? Um, numbers, man. I was hanging out with a guy I met at the bus stop recently. Mm-hmm. Um, he's from Australia. What's that mean? Did you win? Um, no, I'm just like a little bit ahead of you. Do you guess. have to give me advice now with ADV? <laughs> a- a- um, I have. I'm advocate. Ad- advocate. <laughs> okay, tell us Australia busman story. Oh, um, he was making fun of um, us because we use uh, Fahrenheit or something. Oh. Yeah. It is a. It's a dumb system. Totally, but I'm also like I just. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm still, like, a part of this. <laughs> I'm part of Fahrenheit as yeah. a global issue. <laughs> the fact that people just still use this broken-ass number system. It's the tennis of, like, measuring... Exactly. The that's tennis scores. Of, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm realizing that's why you brought it up now. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, I just bring up stuff. I'm really I'm really. I'm abstract. trying to play some tennis, and it's just... It's really... It's distracting. Can I hit this button? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this bong is so big that I have to like hold it with my feet. <laughs> <laughs> if you were gonna smoke weed with someone in the Mushroom Kingdom, who would it be? In the Mushroom Kingdom? Yeah, of these, this of one? these characters. Um, definitely Mario and Luigi. They seem like pretty fun guys. To John like Wazama is pretty cool. Dude, I would smoke weed right? with John. <laughs> um, I would do a lot of things with John like Wazama. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite Johnny Legs performance? Johnny Legs, as his friends call him. Other than Luigi. Other than obvious. Luigi. Name some more. I know them. But... Uh, he was the magical sitar in Moulin Rouge. Oh. He was a gross guy in Spawn, I think. Mm-hmm. He was uh, the young drag queen in Wang Fu. Oh, yeah. He was uh, in Spun. He played a, a meth guy. <laughs> hmm. That was kind of an indie. I think Brittany Murphy was in it. Um, what else do I know about John Leguizamo? <laughs> I like him for his activism work. Yeah, I see him on talk shows, and sometimes you see celebrities talk, and you're like, please stop. Mm-hmm. But he really knows what he's talking about. I like him. Yeah. He does stand-up, too, right? I think he's dabbled. I am always, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a snub with stand-up. Mm. Oh, difficulty. Let's put him on easy, because uh-huh. I'm going to get my ass whooped. Yeah. Who should we play against, though? Ooh, Toad, because he's sex in this game. Yeah, Whoa, let's baby beat Mario. Ass. Let's just beat these babies. Easy baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, four-player easy baby. Yeah. We look like adults. We're yeah, going against cool. easy babies, <laughs> so maybe we'll win. Totally. Hopefully the bouncy ball will work to our advantage in that. It already looks like they're bouncing. They're having fun out on that court. I mean, it's just like we would be doing that there. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't, I like don't like kids that much, so I like I, the <laughs> idea of just like kicking their ass. Oh, because they're babies? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to beat these babies. Um, did you ever play Yoshi's Island where Baby Mario's from? 
I don't think so. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, we're about to beat this. What like uh, games from this N64 era did you get into? I didn't have an N64. I had a um, uh, PlayStation. Sega. Sega. What Sega games did you have? I had the Power Rangers game. That one I was had, sick. I had the Lion King game. Also very good. Um, Do you remember that level where you're like running at the camera and the wildebeests are behind you? Oh yeah. That level was scary. Yeah. All those Disney games were pretty hard. Do you remember like, <laughs> it would always be like a couple easy levels and then like the third one and you're like, um, I'm eight years old, why are you <laughs> trying to kill me right now? Yeah, well, you know, I think even, I like, I've always thought that video games have been fun, but I've never necessarily been like great at them. Even when I had the well, like an NES. Yeah, we're we're both not great today. <laughs> so. Um, and so like a lot of times I didn't even finish a game because like I couldn't get through the level and I'd be like, I'm gonna go outside now. Yeah, that, see, I never had that. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept playing. I'm like I'm gonna play with my imagination. I did like playing imagination games, but then that's I think how like improv and like comedy became interesting. Really. Yeah. I did wait in line for the Wii when it came out. Ooh, back really? In the day. Damn, they beat us. Fuck, like, it's okay. It's okay, we're gonna come back for sure. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, what were some of your, like, good Wii memories? Uh, just getting together and, like, playing, like, that Wii Fit shit. Like, Wii Fit was fun. Yeah, that, that balance board. Using that fucking weird controller for the first time and be like, what? It works, kinda. <laughs> oh, that's my. That was definitely your fault. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie on that, that one. Was fucked that up. was you. <laughs> <laughs> I just like don't want to move very much because you don't want to <laughs> miss it. Yeah. Like, she just like doesn't hit it. Just come to they. me, please. <laughs> just gonna stay. <laughs> it's working. Stay on your side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe we're overthinking this. <laughs> they keep hitting the ball to us. <laughs> I did die though, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. That was like a tri tricky curve. I just ball. said I died. Oh, you we're died. We're playing tennis. Do you ever do that, like when you mess up in a game, even if there's no death involved, you're like, oh, I died. <laughs> I yeah, lost the guy. <laughs> or like, even if I'm just like, I like hurt myself, I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah. I'm dead. We lost really bad. That was embarrassing. That was pretty sad. Hmm, cool. Uh, let's do one of the weird challenge modes and hopefully it won't kick our ass too badly. Okay. Let's take on Mario and Luigi. Okay. Because if we lose, we can just smoke with them afterwards. Yeah, it's gonna be, chill. be pretty chill. This isn't that, well, it's a Bowser level, level. I don't know chill. what that means. Like, I don't know what those things floating in front of them We're are. We're like moving. Am I, oh, I'm supposed to serve, right? You got this. I feel like there's items. <sighs> Sorry. That's okay. Oh, there are items. Like, we have banana peels, Whoa. like it's Mario Kart. Oh fuck! Ah! Oh, oh, they're throwing There's... bananas at us. Yeah, that's okay. This really is getting... tricky. Considering how bad we lost when there was no traps, I'm pretty worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, just gotta have faith, right? Like George Michael. Yeah. Rest in peace, buddy. Oh, you got him in the face! Yeah. Take that, Mario. Bob Hoskins. Wah, wah. I miss that. Oh one. damn! <laughs> damn! I don't know why it's not working. Why we're not good at this game <laughs> that we've never played. <laughs> uh, it's fine. You know, the games are fun. And I think that's the takeaway. It's take all away. about having fun. Are you having fun? I'm having a great I'm time. Having fun. Are you having fun? I hope so. I th I, th we can't hear them. I mean, not I can hear them. Enough. Oh, okay, cool. What are they saying? They're like, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. That's great. Hey, everybody, it's time for the quick time event. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is it? We're experimenting with ways to introduce them. <laughs> I think that's perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Like half Oprah? <laughs> okay, cool. Oh. Alright, start shooting those ducks, DJ. Question one, Nick Ramos is the Mexican-American lead character of which Dead Rising game? A, Dead Rising 1, B, Dead Rising 2, C, Dead Rising 3? Uh, uh, A. I'm sorry, it's Dead Rising 3. Um, question two, Samba de Amigo is a rhythm game for the Sega Dreamcast featuring which instrument as a peripheral? A, guitar, B, castanet, C, maracas. C, maracas. It is maracas! Yeah! yeah. Ding, ding! Um, that this... seems something stereotypical enough. Right <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was kind of cool though, because they had sensors. Anyway. Uh, I never played it. This Ubisoft game featured a Mexican protagonist, uh, protagonist in an Old West style America. A, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. B, Qual Call of Juarez. C. Watchdogs. 
Watch Dogs. I'm sorry, it's Call of War. Uh, and also never played that game. Uh, question four. This South American character joined the cast of Resident Evil as a playable character in Resident Evil Nemesis. A. Carlos Oliveira. B. Claire Redfield. C. Barry. Uh, a? <laughs> a. I just thought it was fun. I, I couldn't remember Barry's last name. Um, question five. Which Antonio Banderas character starred in their own video game in 2011? A. El Mariachi. B. Puss in Boots. C. The Nason XB. Puss in Boots? That's correct. Uh, question six. This Tim Schafer adventure game drew thematic and artistic inspiration from Dia de los Muertos and other Mexican folklore. A. Full, th- <laughs> a, full Throttle. B. Grim Fandango. C. Broken Age. Grim Fandango. Grim Fandango is correct! It's so rad, you have to play it. Um, question seven, follow up. The protagonist of this game is a skeleton, and his name is A, Manny Calavera, B, Jorge Esqueleto, C, Jack Skellington. A? It is totally A. <laughs> um, question eight, this 2013 side-scrolling adventure featured a hero in a luchador mask. A, Rayman Legends, B, Guacamele, C, SteamWorld Dig. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the answer, I just want to say guacamole. It's called guacamole. No shit. <laughs> uh, guacamole. Like, no. Yeah, like he punches. <laughs> and that's all that's, of it. Like, I mean, get paid to do you're that. the first one to get to round three, so that's like a, that's like a big achievement right there. Everyone else died before that. <laughs> nice. They got this eaten is... by the ducks. Hey, I'm killing it right now. Yeah, and um, why don't you just keep shooting them ducks and tell us where we can go to see you in Seattle and uh, what we can expect from you in the future, DJ. Sure. I don't know when this episode's released, but... Oh, a couple weeks. Um, Friday, January 27th, you can see me, um, Alyssa Explains It All, a sketch comedy It's a great, show, yeah. Um, happening at 12th Avenue Arts in Capitol Hill. Uh, just look it up on uh, Facebook. Yeah, Alyssa explains it all. We'll have a link in the show notes. Um, from by hosted by Alyssa Yeoman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it's like sketch and variety in a talk show setting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and you're also going to be on Cutie Pock is not a rapper, which is an upcoming show at Scratch Deli. Yeah. Look uh, for more details about that on my Facebook. Um, that'll be coming in March. So I'm very excited cool. about that show. Um, anything else you want to say to these uh, good people watching? Um, take care of yourselves and don't be too competitive of the games and don't be a dick. Don't and, be a dick. Um, support local art and community and stuff. That's fucking inspiring. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you, DJ, Love for coming you. on. We'll have you back soon. I'm fucking the shit out of these fucking ducks up, man. <laughs>